and myself, we have very uh, young families, but David, you, your family's getting ready for a major change. Your oldest, yeah. Brooklyn, is about to, he's going to flee the nest. He's about to move out of the family he is. home. He is. How are you feeling? Um, quite emotional. Quite emotional. You know, obviously, he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's obviously 18 years old, but he's found something that he's passionate about, and he goes to university in, uh, in September. Um, but it's... <laughs> Amazing, but it, it's nerve-wracking, you know. Obviously, you know he he talks about you know his passion, and he talks about obviously me being uncool at times, and I find him <laughs> in my wardrobe every day. You uh, uncool? No way. <laughs> Never. No way. It would be great when he leaves if you make him a purple yes. cowboy suit he will on love the day that. he leaves the house. But you must feel incredibly emotional about it. I am very emotional about it. You know, obviously, you never want your kids to leave home. I want them to stay with me the whole time and, and live with me and, until, you know, and, yeah. Yeah, always. Um, so it is, it is emotional, but um, I'm excited for him because it's a new journey. It's something that you always want your children to be passionate about something in life. And yeah. he's found his passion, so, which is photography. Yeah. So um, I'm excited for him, but um, I don't think we're ready for him to leave yet. But he's also got another passion, which, he, which there is nothing you could ever say about it, because he's getting into tattoos. Yeah. And you, you, <laughs> you've can't. built a rod for your own back there. You can, you, there's nothing you can really say. There's absolutely nothing that I can say. Because how many has he got now? Uh, he's got two. Right. He's got two. Uh, he was 18 pretty recently, and um, he was counting the days down because he talked about having a tattoo for a long time. Um, so it came around, and... But four days before that, he was with his girlfriend in Paris, and he, uh, he, one of my friends called me that was looking after him there and said, it's not come from me, but Brooklyn's in a tattoo <laughs> shop <gasps> with his girlfriend. And he'd always promised me, and I'd always said to him, your first tattoo, if you're going to have one, your first tattoo, I want to be there, just to experience it as a dad. Um, <laughs> so... It's a very different so then, experience to me getting a tattoo with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> me and my dad going to get a tattoo. Imagine you and your dad. He's a lawyer. Come on, dad, <laughs> let's get tattoos. Dad, it's time for a tat. <laughs> well, obviously, I can't argue that. Yeah. So that was the deal. And then when my friend called me and said, Brooklyn's in a tattoo shop, you should probably call him. So I called him, I FaceTimed him, and I said, what are you doing, mate? <laughs> and he said, I'm just going for dinner. And I was like... Are you sure you're going for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, actually, Dad, I'm in a tattoo place. I was thinking about having something I'm with my girlfriend. And I was like, OK, you're more than welcome to have it, but you remember you promised me, and I'm your dad, and I would feel really upset if you actually went through it. Yeah. Through with it. So he didn't. So thankfully, oh, he waited. Oh, yeah. little Brooklyn! Oh, he's yeah, such he a sweetheart. Good boy. He's wonderful. He's did you miss anything we did with David Beckham, Emily Blunt, Harry Styles, Kings of Leon, Anthony Joshua, Russell Brand, Kit Harrington, Nicole Kidman, Jennifer Hudson, Sir Ben Kingsley, Tom Cruise and Ed Sheeran? You can catch it all here. Thank you, London.